Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching. We are playing Nursery Simulator right now because I have all these um, saplings in my pocket and I decided that, uh, you know, I needed wood that's not like sk scary. Um, why, hello, Yogi. Are we a minute in yet? Probably not. I can't say Yogi B word. We're going to just go Yogi Bear. What's up, Yogi Bear? Weebo, you're just a wealth of information. Sweet, and we heard the chachink, which means underneath this well-fed exterior is an orange bag. Bazinga. What we got here? Ooh, the wiring 101. Sure, we'll take that. 40 out of 100. Sweet. Batter up. Yeah, we'll take that. Batter up volume one, and we got all the batters up. Sweet. Fantastic. I start off with like 44 pine trees, and I'm down to 27. Should probably get a couple more in here. Just for the gigs. Bada bang. Ooh. More Yogi Bears. Get rid of that. I have so much rotten flesh. All right, let's go take care of Yogi Bear. We'll go over what we're going to do today. Today, we'll be uh, finishing up the Horde base and Horde Knight. Reload before you go attacking big, giant, scary bears. Oh, it's a little bear. You angry at me yet? What is that pathing? Any second now. There you go. I just carved this dude up. It'd be nice if these guys would give me like proper meat, but I understand. Zombie bears, zombie meat. Uh, shotgun weekly. We're at a hundred. Sweet. We can make the auto shotgun quality six. And is that super corn seed? That is super corn seed. Oh, what a fantastic little find. Level five battery. Level level five battery. All right. So yeah, we have our nursery going here. A lot of greenery out in the wasteland. It's kind of nice to see occasionally. All right, let's go ahead back into base. I'm going to show you guys what I was up to overnight. So obviously I was not drinking overnight. Let's see, where's my water at? I got my water here. So here I'm cooking off all of our nitrate and coal and all that fun stuff we've been collecting. That's getting turned into gunpowder. And I did manage to get a couple pieces of AP762 cooked off. Sweet, fantastic. And throughout the night, I was kind of balancing between the forges with all that iron we collected. I was getting some stone working. I did process it all into cement. A little concrete action. So, got some uh, dart ammo. I took it, actually went over to the horde base, took the dart ammo out. I crafted a little bit more. Then we have the concrete mix. Sweet, fantastic. We were able to get a little under one grand in forged steel. So, we really have to upgrade the, uh, the horde base today. Absolutely get rid of the cobblestone we have still kind of exposed over there. I grabbed the blade traps, the uh, the mines, trigger plates in case we need it, some dart traps, sweet cool beans. Let's go drop this stuff off in the trader chest. And I wonder what a auto shotgun level 6 will cost us. Shotgun parts, duct tape, spring, and legendary parts? Alright. Spring, we are short on springs. We can go take care of that real quick. Odds and sods, we'll get ourselves a little impact driver, sweet cool beans. Got a convenient spot right there. And since we got super corn seeds, let's go stash that away before I accidentally sell it. Bazinga, drop this out of our inventory. Sweet, we get that stuff all put away. Everything else I don't mind having on me. Uh, we could probably even eat the ravioli and sauce just for the gigs. Sweet, cool beans. So let's go wrench apart a couple cars just so I can get those springs and... If you look very closely, there's a wandering horde. A little, little bit of wandering XP over there, but I really don't want to waste too, too much time. We want springs. We have 20. I think we need like 20, 30. I don't know. We, we need springs. There we go. 21 out of 35. Ooh, what's in here? More gunpowder. Sweet. Fantastic. Ooh, nudie magazine. Look at all these good things and whatnots. Oh, I don't even know where we're at here. 29 out of 75. Yeah, we, we don't really care for that stuff all that much. We, we got our springs. That only took a minute. No uh, no big deal. Let's go ahead back. Yeah, we have all the ingredients for the auto shotgun. We're going to get the auto shotgun crafting, and then we're going to head on over to the hood base, and then we're going to, yeah, get that all set up. We did want to rearrange our dart traps a bit, but we'll explain a little bit more once we get there. So let's go get this thing cooking off, and then we'll go hang out a little bit. I've been saying a little bit a lot lately. 25 minutes. I don't know if I have the patience for that. That's why we're going to go do other things. Sweet, just got that land claim block crafted because the one I have is sitting right here. Not 100% sure if that actually covers the entire joint because I do want to try to pick up my my previous dart traps. Wait, not, wait, waste not, want not. 
Oh, that's too close to the trader, isn't it? Ooh. We might have to take those suckers down. That might be an issue. We might not be able to pick up those land or those things, the start traps. Should have brought the ratchet with me. You don't have this stuff to repair it anyways, dum dum. Oh well. Okay, so the idea is we're gonna put the dart traps. I already have it set up because I was dicking around here last night. Over here. So I uh, put down a couple steel blocks for our new dart traps. The idea is we're gonna have the trigger plates probably actually on these pillars right here. When the zombies are on those plates, that's when uh, these dart traps are gonna start shooting in this direction. The problem with me standing right here is if I'm shooting at zombies, these are in the crossfire. So I wanted to shift those over to the other side, which I already have a concrete block up there. So let's see what we can start with here. That useless land claim block out. Let's get these two down here. Our zappy fence posts, for whatever reason, are gone. I probably shot them myself. Who knows? Who cares? We'll get these down here. Is anyone surprised? Oh, I'm on spikes. Jeez Louise. Is anyone at all surprised by that? I'm not at all surprised. No, that that's that's typical for me. Are you kidding? One more time. There we go. Okay, was that so darn difficult, my dude? Let's get some ammo in there, lock these. If you guys like are new to the game or, you know, off a of legacy version, don't forget to lock your ammo whenever you put it inside of turrets and stuff. That will allow the turret to actually use the ammo. And yeah, you'll be sitting there like, why the heck is this not working? It's because the ammo is not locked. So these two trigger plates are gonna go towards these two corresponding dart traps. And we gotta move these things. And I don't have any proper destroying stuff tools except for a shovel. Let's see. Wow, let's see. Yeah, it's going to take too long. So let's just get these bad boys down here real quick. And I promise you, we are all looking to see if these dart traps set up a demo, dude. Part of me is kind of hoping for it. I think it'd be really entertaining and fun. But at the same time, it's like, man, that would be a pain in the butt to fix. What else did we pick up? We got some batteries. Cool. I'm going to put the batteries inside of the Watcha Hooser thing. Uh, this one. Battery bank. Sweet, cool beans. We can fit... Level 5, throw a level 4 in there. Sweet, we got some juice working. We do have a slot for another engine, but I'm going to keep that engine back at base that we just acquired by wrenching stuff. There we go, cool beans. We'll have to rewire all of this stuff uno momento. Let's see, we got to replace that blade trap. And was I able to fix the other ones? I do not recall if I had to repair these or not. Move, Weebo. No, that looks like it's all good to go. Sweet, fantastic. We have our three blade traps. I'm going to go back. I think I might have more electrical posts back at base, but really the rest of today, today is horde day, by the way. We just have to go through and make sure that everything is as close to upgraded to steel as possible. I want to get at least one of these tight ropes done, just in case the worst happens and the zombies still have pathing. That's all sweet hunky-dory. Let's get these things done in case the coppers decide to blow something up up here. Cool beans. There's steel supports down there, and our fighting platform should probably have some steel integrated as well. And sweet cool beans, this is stuff uh, this stuff has all been at least concreted. Fantastic. I feel a heck of a lot safer with this setup right now. What else? Uh, we could probably finish that off. This is all cemented. Sweet, fantastic. Maybe even this bad boy here. Ooh, one skill point. Cool. Now, this does not really need to be reinforced. Is there anything else that we really need to be concerned about? I think... Sure. I think we are pretty much all set. Eat some shepherd's pie. So what we got to do is we got to get the, uh, the engine generator bank hooked up to all three blade traps. Then we're going to get this battery bank hooked up to all of our dart traps. I think is the way we're going to go. Sweet, fantastic. Let's do this. 
So, sorry, I got interrupted by my doctors. Anyways, I think we're gonna head back to base, get set up for Horde Night. Sweet Cool Beans, fantastic. I really wanna see if we have the Zappy post to replace the ones we had because they do such a great job at slowing down zombies. But these uh, dart traps are hooked up to these center plates right here. So whenever the zombies are on the tightrope, the people will be getting whacked with darts. Sweet Cool Beans, fantastic. And I think besides the fact that our traps and stuff got wrecked pretty early on the last Horde, you know, it, it's really going to come down to having, hopefully, that level 6 shotgun. It will be on us, and we're going to probably be rocking the MP5 with the 9mm. We do have a fair amount of 9mm burn-up, but yeah, we'll look at the loadout in a bit. Ooh, we do have two more zappy posts. Sweet, fantastic. Sweet, that's all upgraded to steel. The one tightrope is absolutely upgraded to steel. Let's make sure that this stuff along this path is all steel. Next, we're going to have to worry about getting our fighting position reinforced. Let's do that while I'm up here thinking about it, because I will forget this kind of stuff. Sweet cool beans. So that's all done. I feel a heck of a lot safer with this setup now. Uh, and we'll go like that. Sweet cool beans. We have Zappy McZapperson post. Where the heck did I put my... Oh, here they are. If we go like... That's... And like that. Sweet! And that is all connected. This spider web mumbo jumble. Uh, that that just looks so dirty. Like half of these, like that wire right there is not doing nothing. So, uh, yeah, the, everything is just, just gnarly here. Alright, so our auto shotgun just finished crafting. Last minute, I decided I did not want to bring it. I'm going to save the shotgun, I think, for our normal adventures. So what we can do real quick, put our modifiers back in there sweet fantastic shotgun is ready to rock and roll let's get this bad boy back up to, to her words into my running around chest sweet fantastic now one more thing that we should probably do open this up so i can get the uh, dart ammunition out of it i really want to make sure i have all the dart traps with uh, stuff inside of it what did i drop there Ooh, nudie magazines sweet read those we're at 40 out of 75 not overly horrible well so what we're going to be bringing though while we're here is i've just got a crap ton of ammunition we're, we're just going to go for range as long as we can i got the repair kits we have a little bit more ammo we can probably toss in ourselves here fantastic really just trying to alleviate this chest a little bit because it is getting a little full sweet and one thing i did remember besides the fact that i forgot to load up the other dart traps with the darts is i put mines down which means I have to actually nerd pull up and yeah, it, it's not that big of a deal. Quit crying. And Horde Knight is upon us. Now you might notice a different like camera angle and I tried to wear the same shirt. Yeah, we blue screened. <laughs> we blue screened during the Horde last night. So uh, all I really did was fix stuff and I didn't even like replenish anything. It's the same stuff that we started off with. We're left off with, so yeah. We're redoing Horde Night right now, but Day 57 Horde is upon us. Oh, they're coming from the front door there. Sweet, fantastic. Oh, look at this. We got a little kill hole right here. I dig this. Man, maybe we should carve out more of this. Uh... Wait, what are they doing? Big Mama, how you doing, girl? My up something. What are they doing? Like, they... There's absolutely enough space for them to get out, and the building is not attached to the horde base at all, so I'm not entirely sure what their goal is. Ha! Huh, this is turning interesting. So, uh, yesterday when I recorded the actual horde, the horde base worked beautifully. We just had a crash halfway through. I am not sure what all changed from that because I, I didn't really change anything at all. All I did was repair the things that got damaged with the supplies that we had. Like, nothing was spawned in. So I'm not entirely sure what their deal is right now. Should we maybe go take a peek? Well, one dude's whacking at the base of the pillar there, but... I think now they're finally pathing. Yeah, they're finally pathing towards the uh, Whatcha Hooser. 
Sweet, fantastic, all right, let's get out of here so we don't push any buttons we don't want to push. And back down he goes? Well, they found the landmines at least. So I did replace the landmines we had uh, actually placed. I don't know if I kept that on camera or not, because it's pretty insignificant. I just put down a couple tin mines on the, uh... yeah, get wrecked, on the, uh, the stairs to get up here. Look at these cutie patooties, though. Big Mama here with her biker brother. Sweet, fantastic. Quite a few irradiateds. I'm not going to complain with that. That's just more XP, more fun. What's up, homie? Yeah, I'm really curious as to what they got hung up on down there. I'll tell you what, these dart traps are just working beautifully. Because they get hung up on the electrical wire, and they're going to sit on that pressure plate for a bit, and it's just going to keep this dart trap firing. Get wrecked. Big Mama's here to give us some kisses. What's up, Spider Douche? Spider Douche, Spider Douche, get wrecked. Oh, wait, 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 what are you doing up there, homie? Yeah, you get down there. So we still have quite a massive amount of 7.62 and 9 mil. We have both sides of the dart traps going right now. That's fantastic. What's up, dude? You get wrecked. Hi, bye. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Both traps are going, man. This is pretty awesome. Now, eventually, at some point, we'll check the time in just a second here. We're going on at 11.30. These blade traps are going to be failing at some point. And my idea whenever I first ran this horde was thinking of having, like, backup blade traps maybe on each side of these pillars here. Ones that are not going to be on until the first set fails. That way... Gosh, it's so loud right now. It's hard to think. That way, whenever these blade traps actually fail, we can turn on a second set of traps. And that'll just be, you know, once... They won't be worn out because they're not on, so... Excuse me. So it'll be kind of like a multi-staged um, horde base. Like once the, the first stage of traps is done, we'll activate the second traps and it'll just continue throughout the night. <laughs> Wrecked monkey man. Going on midnight, and so far, it's just been a good way to burn through our extra ammo, really. And what I'm really thinking is for, like, regular everyday travels, we're going to keep the uh, Desert Eagle and the Shoddy on us. And that's going to help us gather just more 7.62 and 9mm, so multi- or not multi-purpose ammo. Oh, I see that. But if we have, like, two ammo types for Horde Knight, two ammo types for our exploration, we're probably never going to run out of ammo at this rate. Interesting. And both dart traps are going. Oh, it just it's loud, but it sounds really cool. Of course, in edit, I'm gonna be turning down the volume, but right now in the headphones, it just sounds like pure butt kicking. Get wrecked. And currently, it kind of feels like Weibo's gonna be taking the night off. So I bet you she's not gonna complain. Ooh, big mama. Come here, girl. Oh, two big mamas. Heck yeah. Double the guns, double the pleasure. And a blue bag? Big mama dropping the blue bag? She never lets that thing go blue. The bag, that is.
So one thing I did find out from the uh, the horde that I didn't get to keep was I can replay replay <laughs> repair that blade trap right there is just in reach, so that's kind of cool. But it kind of builds off of like if these two traps failed like they have, I can have another set of traps right here to activate, and that'll just like help you know continue to ease the uh, the zombie burden here. And possibly even another set of electrical traps. And I just have like the, uh, a second set of electrical traps and maybe the, uh, blade trap. Excuse me, miss. Um, the only person allowed to give me kisses is right there. It's Big Mama. So yeah, if we just have like a contingency set of traps, I think we'll be pretty good. The only thing that we're going to have an issue on really is getting more electrical posts. I'm not sure if I can build more. If I can, great. But if not, we'll just have to go buy them. But I do have extra blade traps, so I'm not overly concerned right now. Speak of the devil, and she shall appear. Okay. Hey, girl. Okay. What's up, homie? Somebody sounds bigger than the rest of them. Excuse me, sir. Oh, well. Come on, girl. Give me kisses. Oh. <laughs> All right, two in the morning. Now, this is where the previous sword crashed. Come on, girl. Oh. Crotchy. He's gonna learn who to let pass and who to uh, who to throw off the edge there, cause she got yeeted into oblivion, and I wanted to yeet it in my uh, little horde base here. Give me some kisses. But yeah, two in the morning is when the uh, the original attempt at horde crashed last night. I don't know what happened. It it just just seven days to die doing seven days to die things. But yeah, so far, you know, all I'm doing is really listening for this blade trap to start making goofy sounds, and that's when I know to go repair it. But just burning through 9mm, keeping these guys at bay a bit. But Crotchy, the dart traps, that blade trap, really uh, stopping people from really hurting me here. I will say, though, it's a little bit loud. But again, you guys don't have to put up with that. Next. Excuse me, spider douche. So what I'm really hoping to see is some demo dudes, because it looks like that top um, dart trap there is really putting in some work, and I want to see a demo dude come up and just see if the darts maybe set him off. <laughs> Thank you, Weebo. Don't you do it, cop. That's what I thought. Ow. Oh, snap! I did not even notice him. All right, we got to keep an eye out for Demo, dude. He appears to have made an appearance. Out of here, spider douche. All right, real quick, let me get this blade trap fixed up here. Just waiting to see Demo douche come up that... That's not him. That's biker douche. Biker douche. Lumberjack douche. There's Demo douche. Nothing. Nice. So it appears that that particular dart trap is not going to set off Demo Guy. I think it might be because the darts are coming from his... I'm trying to talk, douche. Right shoulder. So I think because the darts are coming from his right shoulder and not actually hitting the uh, the detonator on his chest, I think that's the reason why we should be number one A-OK. -okay. Ooh, he dropped a new nice loot bag for us. Sweet, fantastic. How are these guys looking? Out of here, dude. Okay. 
Weibo, you are a fantastic robot being. I appreciate your services. What did that dude? Oh, the dart trap got him. All right, demo dude is back. That's a different demo dude, isn't it? Oh, sweet. More loot bags. Awesome. They're all coming up the staircase now. I'm not going to complain with that. Make sure that dude gets knocked down so he stops causing problems. So far, though, it's looking pretty darn decent. I'm wondering if, like, something set off a ladder or broke a ladder back there or if they're just spawning from a different spot and that's what's making them come up the stairs here. Of course, after Horde Night, we'll go take a look-see, see all what got uh, damage and what's missing and things we'll have to repair for the next night. Oh, that being said, good morning. Excuse me, sir. Weebo, you are fantastic. Kill Whites is complete. Sweet, fantastic. Ooh, look at all that disaster zone coming up there. I swear, if a screamer spawns, I can't deal with these guys without a gun. Like, I can't go quiet mode with this. Naughty out, Steve, and you had a recall gear the whole time. Yeah, I did. I did. Alright, so my game plan is I really do not want to be spawning in uh, Watcha Hoosers, the Screamers. So we might just go for a quick little jog. I did not bring any extra spikes on me, but let's see what these guys are up to. Come on. Gravity is your friend, everyone. Like, worst case scenario, I just hop on the motorcycle and dip for a little bit. Ooh, excuse you. Oh, why are we not sprinting? Why are we not sprinting? Oh, my little uh, nursery has gone pretty darn good, though. Appreciate that. Now, see if I have any living spike. I do have spikes over here. Sweet. So what we can do is ah, step in the spikes ourselves, but if we just get these guys to waddle on through here. Try to let that heat map from the screamers die down a little tiny bit. Ooh, he found a landmine. Yeah, come on, guys. Oh, that spikes here, isn't it? There we go. Come on. I'm wondering if, like, I should build off somewhere like a, uh, like, kind of like just a complete spike, like, retreat zone for the end of the Horde Night when I want to calm down my guns, and I can just have, like, a tower off in the distance over there and surround it with, like, heavy spikes. That way, these guys are just... Wading through spikes like uh, like old people in the, the wading pool, you know? They just put their arms up, just going through. What's inside of this? Ooh, some magazines. Sweet, fantastic. We'll, we'll claim that. All right, Weebo. You got to hang tough there, girl. Woo! I'm wondering... Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Are we getting a little too ballsy here? We might be all right. Big Mama ain't gonna hurt us. She's she's really just looking for kisses. All right. Well, sweet, fantastic. I think we should be... Thanks, Weebo. We should be good for now. Let's go... I'm gonna drop all of my extra ammo and stuff over in this chest out here. I'm gonna go turn off the equipment, and then we will go see what the damage is and what all we are uh, collecting from the loot bags.
Weebo, come on. I just want to get the antibiotics, dude. Weebo? Are you done? Thanks. So looking at it from up here, it looks like we lost one of our supports, two of our supports with the spinning blade trap and that watch of hooser right there. I'm really wondering if a demo dude might have come through here and just wrecked the joint, but that was steel, brand spanking new steel, and it got wrecked in one horde night. So we might have to put up some skinny posts or something or just make this more of a solid, uh, solid support system. But yeah, we got a little bit of a crater here, you know. Nothing we can't really fill back in. It's just, man, those supports went quick. So I'm just wondering if there's a way that we can uh, remedy that because that that that's not good. <laughs> Let me go check the roof right quick. Um, up we go. All right, no loot bags up there. Sweet, fantastic. I think that's pretty much. Oh, there's still a mine there. That is. I don't know how that happened. Because that whole section is blown up. That's goofy. All right, let's go take a quick look in here. No more loot bags. I think we're pretty darn decent. I saw a couple things. I I was just quickly running through the bags. I did not see everything that we picked up here. So, yeah, the ladder's back here looking pretty darn decent. Yeah, there's really nothing over here really indicating that it needs repaired. Like, this needs repaired a little bit here. That needs repaired a little bit there. So I'm wondering if, like, a demo dude, like, got wrecked on the way down, and maybe that was a different instance. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I'm not an expert at this game by any stretch of the words of the imagination. So, yeah. Let's go see what we got in our inventory here. So we brought over some of the magazines we initially picked up. A level 5 auger, which is fantastic because we've been rocking a level 4. So we'll just swap that one out. A lot of magazines, a little bit of ammo to replenish. Nothing too crazy spectacular yet. I think just going out hunting uh, the wolves and the bears have been, you know, giving us more resources and fun stuff anyways. So, yeah, we'll read these magazines here. It looks like the general portion of the, the horde base, you know, is pretty unaffected. Just the pillars in that center section there. Might have to think about different ways to reinforce that. And I really want to put up like a secondary set of traps attached to a switch. That way when like these two blade traps fail, all we have to do is flip a switch and it's going to turn on the other two blade traps. Maybe another set of electrical posts. We'll see how that works out. But for now, guys, I appreciate you all hanging out with me. I'm going to go read through these magazines, get our loot organized. And maybe next episode we'll pick up a job, go do something more fun and adventurous, maybe in town or something. You know, we can always have fun in this game. There's lots to do. This base is going to take maybe like a half day of actual focus of just getting it back up to par, and then that'll be good. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll catch you in the next one.